route. We are so excited to be able to connect students at Space Center Houston with the Axiom-1 crew, the first all-private astronaut mission to the International Space Station. Thank you, Axiom-1 crew, for allowing us to be one of the, one of the places you're connecting with while on the eight-day mission on the International Space Station. It's truly a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for us to have our students speak live with astronauts during this historic mission. Our students here today have a few questions that they'd like to ask you guys. Are you ready for the questions? Are you ready for the questions? We are ready. Go ahead. Awesome. So let's have our first student ask a question. Hello. My name is Maria Hernandez. I'm 12 years old and I'm in sixth grade. ¿Cuánto tiempo tuviste que entrenar antes de ir al espacio? Now in English. How long do you have to train before going to space? Hola, Maria. Pues voy a dejar a mi compañero Larry para contestar. Depending upon our particular role, anywhere from 750 to over a uh, thousand hours. And that spanned uh, some eight month period of time where basically we were training full time. And it's a great question. And that's really the difference between private astronauts and people who are just space tourists. Hello, my name is Morgan Musby. I'm 13 years old and I'm in seventh grade. What do you eat while you're in space? What does space food taste like? I'm going to hand that to my partner, Mark. <laughs> okay, I guess it's on. Uh, yeah, good question. Uh, in space, we eat most of the same things we eat back, uh, back home. We have meat and vegetables, potatoes, rice, and different dishes made with those things pasta. Uh, the difference is it's is in the packaging and the preparation. It's all either dehydrated or in uh, vacuum packed uh, packages. And we either put water into the package to heat it up and hydrate it and then wait a bit and then eat it. Or we put it in the oven and warm it up and then and then eat it. So same stuff, just different, different form. My name, my name is Ruth Sante. I am 13 years old and in eighth grade. I'm going to be asking my question in English and in Spanish. Is it hard to sleep in space? Es difícil dormir en el espacio. Not at all. It's really uh, fun to sleep here because it's uh, quiet. Uh, no airplanes passing by, no cars in the street really quiet and you can sleep any way you want. You can sleep horizontal like we do at home or upside down or vertical or with your head down. Each position is good for sleeping. My name is Madison Hinton and I'm 14 years old in the eighth grade. What made you want to go into space, especially with all the risk? Why don't you take the mic? <laughs> so I think if you asked all of us crew members our opinion, I think it would be the same. And the reality is this is an extremely safe endeavor. If you look at all the safety measures that NASA, SpaceX, and Axiom, which organize this, have put together, coupled with all the training we've done, all of us feel confident that we can do a safe and successful mission. My name is Vivian Reyes. I am 12 years old and in seventh grade. What did it feel like to lift off? What does it feel like to fly in a rocket? I'll tell you what, it's pretty exciting. Um, it, it feels like, I don't know how, uh, what kind of car you, your family drives at home, but if it's a fast car, it feels like somebody stepping on the gas pedal really hard only it lasts forever and ever it takes about nine minutes to get to orbit and that whole time we're feeling this massive acceleration so in a word i would say it's pretty fun my name is trent i am nine years old and in, in in third grade i know this 
is a sort mission duration mission. What are some ways you spend your free time? Well, we have a pretty short mission. Simple answer, we don't have any. <laughs> yeah, because of our short mission and our heavy science payload, we don't really have much free time. Uh, whatever we do have, we spend uh, just eating our supper or lunch or whatever and, and wrapping the day up. But uh, astronauts here on the space station spend their time doing what, uh, what we all might do if we're at home. Obviously, you can't go anywhere, but uh, if you're at home uh, watching movies or uh, reading, uh, calling uh, friends and family, which we can do through uh, voice over IP here. Um, that's pretty much what I do. So, same kind of stuff. My name is Ava. I am nine years old and I am in third grade. I know you're taking pictures from Cupola. What Earth observations are you making? The sights from here are amazing, especially during a sunset. You see the, uh, the earth and you see the atmosphere in different colors, sometimes red, green, brown, yellow, all the colors of this uh, very fragile atmosphere that's surrounding our planet and protecting us.